Hey, 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 Alicia Cologne here, a tactile illustrator. Anyway, so what are we doing today? I am in the series where we are recreating this artwork. So this artwork is from Hearthstone, which is a digital playing card game. So today we are going to be going the going over the painting. So we're going to be painting it today. The fun thing about the painting is that we're going to do some airbrushing. We're going to do some traditional painting. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to airbrush this and where those highlights are and whatnot, I'm just going to add that via the paint. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. This is the first time doing that. And this is where we are. We use this really cool air moldable cosplay foam clay. This foam clay, once it is dry, the detail that you can uh, carve in there without it like breaking or shredding or anything like that, it's just amazing. I did some research and I found that there is this rubber coating. So I, I use this rubber coating. So you're probably wondering, all right, what are we painting? How are we gonna paint with this? Well, we are going to be using, it's pretty, it's an airbrush technique, but without the airbrush. This is an airbrush propellant. This is by Testors. But you attach this to the paint and it's very much like an airbrush, which is really cool. But it, and then on top of that, they have these pre-packaged colors. And so the first thing that I did uh, is that, and what I'm gonna do is I'm first gonna paint all the purple things, but it's also why I did white over it because the white is gonna allow me for the colors to pop. Easier to control than spray paint. Our purple base done. I think that did really good. Uh, but I think once we start adding some of these other colors like on top to kind of lighten it or like blue along the edges and I think it's really going to create a really beautiful kind of globe. Trying to keep paint away from my fingers largely because I know that I'm going to be handling a lot of pieces. Now we get to do these fun little guys, but I want to make sure that I don't get the inside because the inside we're going to do orange. And I don't mind doing like the edges of it. Now we gotta do this one. Using a brush versus using the airbrush. Let's see, we got our main parts done. So I gotta shake. This is a pretty, pretty, pretty pink. All right, so here we go. We got our mushroom number one. I'm definitely gonna, I think I'm gonna love the gradients that are happening here. need to go ahead and do this. Orange is going to go on top of the mushrooms. Orange is going to go inside the trumpet. It's, I mean, it's going on so fluidly. So that's my inside. I know it definitely doesn't look. Do these little tiny pieces. The top of this needs to be pink. The top of this needs to be pink. I love this blue. It's, but ooh, this color is so pretty. All right, cool. So I'm gonna do a little, a little blue on the inside. Oh. 
So that, that's kind of what we're going with right now. Ooh, how did these two get stuck together? Goodness gracious. Little smatterings of blue. All right, cool. Well, I got a little bit of blue in there, so that's nice. We gotta go back. We gotta do pretty much all the colors over again. Let's not get purple on you. Well, guys, I think I'm finally getting down the... Awesome. It needs to be here. Okay, and then it needs to be here on this other side. Now let's do the pink. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but I just, I love how it's just adding kind of like some richness of color. All right, but we want So then this is pink. All right, I think we're ready to assemble. Like the, the this is dark purple, but the top is like a, a light purple. I'm really excited. Start assembling. Now let's go ahead and center that. Now I'm gonna poke it in the hole. And there we go, there we go. And now it's in. All right, so we're just gonna, I'm gonna have to let that. I think that's it. I mean, that's that's pretty good. I definitely am missing a little rock that's supposed to be there. We are almost done. There you go. That's pretty cool. There you go. And it is done. That took two hours instead of one. We had a lot of problems with the airbrush early on. Yeah, and I really thank you so much guys for following me along.